All right. The other thing, too, is your plates are expired. No, they're not. I um, have uh -oh. my tags. I got my tags yesterday. So okay. I brought these on 17. All right, I'll take your license and your insurance registration. You just click this link and you're wondering who silky, smooth, melodious voice is speaking so eloquently over the body cam footage. You've now reached the Heavy Gant channel. If you're not here for the brilliant commentary, fair enough. Click the link in the description. Go over to A Matter of Crime. Watch it in full over there. They've got tons of videos over there. A lot of good content. Enjoy it. Hit the bell. All that good stuff. Uh, these videos here, I do for my audience. Okay? I'm curating a very, very special audience. And I get it's not going to apply to a lot of people. It's a good thing I'm not talking to them. <laughs> the only people I'm talking to are the members of the Heavy Gan audience. You know the rules. You can say whatever you want to say. The only rules are talk like you got some sense to be nice. All praise do the Almighty Algorithm. Like, share, subscribe. As always, guys, I have not seen this. We're watching it together. Shout out to Shelly Nania for sending this to me. And she also sent uh, the last video that I did about, um, you know, the mom in the hotel. They got, they got trespassed from the hotel. So shout out to Shelly. Let's get into it. What's that? You're like, this is the spot. Oh, she said, she said flashing her. He's white. I don't like it. Do you, you have your driver's license? and I don't know what his race has to do with the light flashing, but come on. Insurance registration? Oh, of course I do. Okay, can uh -oh. I see that, please? I'm sure it was safe auto. Okay. I have to keep tricks on my car because if I don't pay my car insurance, this will happen. I get repo. Of the registration for the vehicle was registered. This is my car. I had this car for like three years, babe. Okay. Do you have the registration for the vehicle? You recorded. You very racist. <laughs> Go ahead and take you a shot. All right. So that's like two shots you should have took already. I don't know what asking for a registration. Um. Uh. Why that means that uh. That he's racist. But hey, man, let's keep listening. Come on. How am I racist? Oh, because that's registration. This car's registered. I've car for three years. I know, but registration. I don't, I don't know that. I don't like white people. Y'all are very racist. Well, I'm not white. That's what I, that's what I get. No, no, no. Ma'am, let's not bring race into this. No, no I'm not white people. I'm not black people out. No. Well, I'm not white. Well, you all the way white. Ma'am, ma'am, don't yeah. bring the white race and the black race into why you're drunk behind the wheel of a car. You know what I'm saying? Looking like a uh, uh, Cujo from Goody Mob in the face. You know what I mean? Looking like uh 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 what's his name? Mr. Cheeks from uh from uh the Lost Boys in the face. Okay? Uh that ain't got nothing to do with either race. That has to do with you. Come on. <laughs> Ma'am. What did she just call him that for? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? She just called this man an Uncle Tom. Is this is this a biracial officer? <laughs> Hold on, let me run it back some. Hold on. No. Oh, I'm not white. Well, you all the way white. Uh oh. It don't matter, Uncle Tom. But that's the police. With the court, look him up. He is. Follow me, Zion. I don't know what's going on over there in the passenger seat. It looked like we got Lorenz Tate in a wet weave. I don't know what's going on. Come on. Tax, right Deep here. Deep voice. Why is that on your car? Because he sticks to my tags. You want to do it funny? Do it uh -oh. funny. You record it. Do it. Why didn't you put it on the back? Because it didn't stick. It didn't stick? No, I did not. I did not. My text said 220 white. Okay. It didn't stick. Okay. Look at my text right now. It didn't yeah. stick. Well, I know I that. I scraped the text off my sticker. I know. I saw the sticker. It's expired. That's why. That's the reason. I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared. That's why I f*** people. I rest. I got business. I'm a nurse. Everything I have to talk to. Oh kids. shit! Okay. Motherfucking Lorenz Tate in the wet weave saying saying that she's scared. Yeah, yeah. Sticker is expired. Listen to it. That's another reason. I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared. That's I'm scared. I'm scared. I risk. I got business. I'm a nurse. Scared of. Everything I have to talk to. Kids. Okay. My kids next. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't like white people, man. I'm scared. Hey. 
So what, what was the why were you peeing in the roadway? Huh? You see, the officer don't care. She don't like white people. And for whatever reason, you know, Lorenz Tate uh, with the wet weave, with the Eddie Kane voice from Five Heartbeats. I don't know what's going on with with, 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 with that situation. I don't know what's going on with her. All of a sudden, she's scared now. Um, What's going on with this lady? Is this lady on something other than alcohol? Because I'm not really... I'm really not one of those guys that's just going to blame everything on alcohol. Oh, I was drunk. I was drunk. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of that. You was drunk shit. You're a grown adult. So anything you do drunk, psh, it's your fault. I don't give nobody no pass. Come on. I talked about Francis by the house out the way. Yeah. She know her address. She's not familiar with her address. Right. Oh, okay. She's not familiar. Um, okay. She didn't have the bathroom there. Um, she intoxicated. I don't know how to get to her house to the bathroom. That's why I did it. Uh oh. Okay. What's your white wrist there? Get the shit, man. Uh, I, 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 I got, I got, I'm coming to hear about it, man. I got it right here. So, um, you, you didn't have time to stop anywhere else to use the bathroom. You just decided to stop. That's why I did it. I ain't here. I'm at Stripper. I used to be homeless. I, I slept in cars. Somebody with my knee. Boy, boy, boy. Did you see that? Did you see that? I'm going to run that back. And listen, if you're still in the room and you're wondering why I'm talking, listen here. I'm not talking to you. You're being kind of weird hanging out in a place that you're not fucking invited. Fuck out of here. What the hell, y'all, man? I don't care what went on. I don't care what happened. If you're frothing at the mouth, you're wrong. If you're frothing at the mouth, 100% you're wrong. I don't care. I don't even need no details. Look at her. She starts slobbering and shit. Look. You didn't have time to stop anywhere else to use the bathroom. You just decided to That's stop. That's why I did it. I ain't here. I'm a stripper. I used to be homeless. I, I slept in cars. Lord. Some with white men. Some with white men. Jesus. I was running for Donald Trump. All this shit. Man, what, what does race have to do with this? Now you're talking about the white men? The white men? Do you know that, 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 that black folks is free and it ain't no segregation and you can go ahead and get your swirl on? Don't nobody give a fuck. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares you voted for Donald Trump. I don't know why I see that on body cam so much. You know, I voted for Trump. What are you, what are you telling this cop for? Like, he gives a flying fuck. Like, you know his political affiliation. Or he gives a shit at all. Yeah, I voted for Trump. Quit trying to be too buddy-buddy. Fuck out of here just talking too much. Oh, shit. shit. I had two glasses of wine. How long ago was that? 30 minutes ago. Man. Okay. Stop it now. Are you feeling anything from your wine? He's so bad. He's very cute. Are you feeling any, any effects from the wine? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, she over here looking like buckwheat in the face, mixed with Cujo from Goody Mob, and Mr. Cheeks from the Lost Boys. Now she's trying to shoot a shot. Okay, she just hated white people. Okay, then she told us that she used to strip. Then she said she used to sleep with white men. Now she's trying to holler at the cop. Good Lord, come on. No, I'm not. I'm just very, I'm very, I'm very overwhelmed by my business. Okay. My baby dad not doing nothing. I'm just overwhelmed. Your baby daddy not doing nothing. You know what your daddy, do, your baby daddy doing? Trying to duck you. That's what the fuck your baby daddy doing. Your baby daddy is walking around with high blood pressure. He wants to know where you at. So he could be someplace else. Okay? That man wants to be on the road, away from you, seven days out of six. You hear what I'm telling you? That's where your baby daddy, your, ba your baby daddy's trying to survive if this is you. Come on. Okay. My friend just bought a new house out the way. She don't know how she That's the only reason I put over the piss. Ugh. Okay. So tight, stay in the car. I'll be right back with you, okay? I pulled up and she was she had her pants down her knees and pissed in a row. That's what that's what, that's what that pile is over here. Lord, you see did that? he say that pile is over here? Okay, pile a pile's don't form from pissing. So what did she really do? Yeah. Right there, ma'am. Did you drop a deuce? All right, Andrea. Yeah, it looks like you you took care of your plates and stuff, but. What I want to do is I want to make sure you're okay to drive from this point. I'm going to have you step out of the car. And I'm going to we'll, say I'm Mike or I'm fine and I'm safe. And uh -oh. then we're going to get you going, okay? 
house up in my car. I'm finding I'm safe. Uh -oh. Sorry. My best friend just bought a house around the corner. I'm going to drive to her house and lay down in her bed. I'm okay. I promise. She about to tell you how it's going down. Come on. Well, I'm, I feel like you are an, uh, impaired. I'm not impaired. I'm a whole damn nurse. Uh -oh. I take care of my all and my elders. I take care of Miss Jocelyn. I take care of Miss Joyce. I'm fine and I'm safe. Okay. Okay, you take care of your elders, you take care of Miss Jocelyn and Miss Joyce, you're a nurse, and you hate white people. I get it. I get it. Hey, man, you know, this is how Heavy Gant feels. Okay, this is how I feel. So sometimes, since we talk about race so much, and it's it's always um, in close proximity to some of these body cams, whether it has anything to do with it or not, it's, it's close proximity. So you see certain people talk about it. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's go ahead and talk about it, y'all. Ah. Let me run this back just a little bit before I go into my spiel. Hold on. I take care of Miss Jocelyn. I take care of Miss Joyce. I'm fine and I'm safe. Okay. Let's talk about it, guys. Hold on. Miss Jocelyn and Miss Joyce. Okay. She takes care of her elders. She's a registered nurse. And you hate white people. I believe that you're allowed to hate me. When it comes to racism, I don't give a flying fuck what's in your head and what you think about me or what preconceived notions you may have about me. Okay, that's your business. I don't give a fuck. I think that people that are racist are ultimately dumb, like a real racist person. Like legitimately, you think that your race is superior to other races. Obviously, we may have cultural differences. We may have um, things culturally that I want to improve and you may have things culturally that you want to improve and I, you know, back and forth, right? All cultures do. You may not like certain parts of my culture. And I may fucking hate certain parts of your culture, but is that the same as not liking white people or not liking Koreans or man, I can't fucking stand Africans. Is that the same as that? Because you may have cultural differences. Of course not. You're allowed to have cultural differences. You're allowed to be a moron. You're allowed to be dumb. You're allowed to be narrow minded. I don't give a fuck about that. Just leave me alone. Now where, so that's the racism that doesn't matter. It's in your head, man. So until you fuck with me, or unless you're a judge, and you're handing me down a sentence, or you're somebody preparing my food, or you're somebody who has some sort of impact on my life, I really don't give a fuck about what you think. That's your business. There's all types of biases that people have. Religious, political, all types of shit. It's too much to fucking think about, okay? Now, the racism that fucking matters is somebody who's a doctor, somebody who's a lawyer, somebody who's a nurse caring for someone who's of a different race and they don't like that motherfucker. Man, I hate white people. Man, I hate Puerto Ricans. Man, I hate... You're a fucking moron and you, and you, and you need to not be working with the public, Okay. You need to not be working with the public. So this woman just said that she was a nurse and also this entire time been talking about how she hate white folks, which ma'am is well within your right. I don't give a fuck. Okay. But if you're caring for people, mm, that's a little bit different. Come on. I'm like, Corey, I'm safe. I okay. promise. Well, I understand that you might feel that way, but I want to, I want to make sure that you're okay to you drive. You follow me around the corner well, and I'll be okay. Uh -oh. I'm not stopping this car. I'm fine. I promise I am. It's it's not gonna work, okay? I want to make sure you're okay. I'm gonna put you through for some field sobriety, and we'll get you going after that. Uh -oh. I'm not getting on my car. I'm okay. Here we go. I mean, is it? Is it I, mean, I refuse. I'm okay. Okay. Well, it, it's two ways of handling like Here we handling go. the situation. Okay. Ain't nothing else to be done. First, we can we can go the route where I make sure you're okay to drive from this point, and then you'll be released. Okay. okay you go, yeah. All right, she stayed around the corner. I understand that. that that's, that's fine. It's irrelevant. I'm, I'm trying to work with you. Okay. 
Uh -oh. As long as I feel like you're okay to drive, you'll be relieved. Oh, I'm probably okay to drive. She okay. wants to stay around the corner. Well, I don't know that. I pull up and I see that you're squatted down in the middle of the roadway, urinating in the Coach middle of the street. Out. Is that normal behavior for a sober person? For people like her. Please hers. answer me that. I have a bad bladder. I have cancer. Okay, and sure. that might be the listen. That might be the case. I want to confirm. This conversation is recorded. In yeah, it's, my car. it's recorded I'm right here. Uh oh. It's recorded right here. On your end. Okay. Uh -oh. And I understand you might have a black bag. Yeah, very. And I want to. And I, I want to. I should in this area. You saw bougie by the house. Yeah, very racist. Bougie. She's so she the only one been talking about race this entire motherfucking time. She the one said she hate white people. And this man said I'm not white, and she called him an Uncle Tom. I don't even know if he's black. I don't know what the fuck he is. Nor do I care. See, the here's the thing to to, to remember, man. Those that are always like projecting shit like racism, sexism, homophobia, dog, you got that shit in your motherfucking head. That don't mean that I got that in my head. Because you think like that doesn't mean I think like that. That's your shit. Handle your shit. This woman been talking about race and black people all this, this entire motherfucking time. Now she calling him racist. All right, man, come on. What's the point? We're right now. And, and this motherfucker over here in the passenger seat, goddamn, sounding like Eddie Kane in the voice. Just smoking Newports. Come on. You, you've explained to me that you've just consumed a couple oh, yeah, glasses so of wine. A couple glasses of wine, though. That's the point. And that, and that's, you eat happen, you okay. drink wine. I just that bleach. Okay. Okay. And, and, and that's fine. But, but what I, what I want to do is confirm that you're okay to drive. I'm fine, okay. To, I'm okay. I'm more than okay uh -oh. to drive. I'm and then, we know. Okay, and that's fine. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not worried about you. It's on me. Okay, and I'm not worried about you, ma'am. That's on me, baby. What is the point? Her eyes around the corner, down the street, right there. What is the point? Look here, to Lorenz Tate and the motherfucking. You're not the one driving. You're not the one driving, Lorenz Tate, with the wet weave. Okay. So until we ask you something, put a put a sock in it. Shut your pie hole. Come on. Okay. It's down the street right there. Listen, listen. Lord, Lord, I don't have any business with you. I'm worried about the driver, okay? Listen, listen. It's around the corner. Five and minutes I, away. I understand that. I know. I understand that. I'm keep recording your ass. Right so, ass, white cop. There you go. Pee. Take another shot. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm asking you to come out of the vehicle for me I'm so not, I can. I'm not getting on my car. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to tell you. So right now you're failing to obey. Failing what? You're failing, to, you're failing to obey my orders. Just listen to this cop's voice. He's exhausted with these people. You can tell like his his voice inflection, like he's real chill, real laid back. You know what I mean? And he's fucking exhausted. This is probably this, he may be on his about to go home or whatever the fuck. But he's tired of this bitch. Come on. Order of getting out of the vehicle. Are you refusing to get out of the vehicle this morning? What is the consequences? What is it happening? You're going to get arrested if you, don't, if you refuse to get out of the vehicle. I didn't know it's wrong. I just explained to you what, what's going I on. I said what you explained. There we go. I police officers are drunk all the time, pissing outside in front of my house. They kill my fucking dog, Medesty. I have, I have been through about polar. Ma'am, that dog fucking deserved it. That dog was a fucking felon. It's a crazy house. I've been mean, a lot of shit. Okay. Police took my dog. Okay. Mm -hmm. Killed Majesty. Okay. Uh oh. Now look, I saw y'all. Okay. Please, please, the car, what okay. the fuck the dog was doing? We put you through field sobriety and you be released. Ma'am, if the police killed your dog and you're the owner of that dog, that was the nigga dog. Shit. The motherfucking dog was probably drinking malt liquor, eating fried chicken, had gold teeth, had 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 uh like six different baby mamas in and out of jail. That dog deserved that shit. Come on. If you're okay to drive, okay? Last thing I want to do is, is force you out of this vehicle. Do you understand me? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, yeah, do, you, do you want to go to jail? Oh, she's trying to shoot her shot, ain't she? Right. All right. Jail. Over there. All right, I'm asking you again. This cool Joe from like Goody Mom. Times. Do you want to step out of the car? That's why I called you, bro. Why I called you, bro. You can walk it. You can walk that one, bro. Damn, the officer's asking you to step out of the car. Step out of the car, please. Better come out, lawyer. Take a shot. 
Because you know them lawyers always like, what is it? What time is it? like 2.38? 2.38. 2.38 in the morning. You know lawyers be right by the phone for a buckwheat in the face looking bitch. They be right by the phone waiting for her call. Come on. Out of the car. Wow. Now. This is no longer becoming a request. Oh, Lord. Get out of the car. Here we go. Authority. Yeah. Something you need. She's sitting around the corner right know. here. Yeah. I was saying, what's the point? Can I go home safe? See, it's, the, it's, the, it's that spirit of disobedience. The problem with authority, they don't want a man to tell them shit. Okay? That's really what a lot of this shit be at the end of the day. Come on. All right. Let's go. Get out of the car. All right, man. Step out for us. Unbuckle your seatbelt. Step out. You're under arrest. For what? I do nothing wrong. Step, Step out of the car, please. Unbuck her seatbelt. For one, Unbuck for being ugly. Belt, Come on. Alright, step out. Don't grab me, baby. Come on, step uh -oh. out, please. Step out. Come here, ma'am. Come on. Let's secure the brisket. Step out. Stand up. 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 You and my fucking Lorenz Tate need to chill out over there. There you go. We're good. It's wet weed. Motherfucking ink well. This shit's the stink well. <laughs> the stink well. Hands behind the brisket, ma'am. Man, do you have somebody to come get you by chance? Step over here. Come on, brother. Step over here. Can you open your mouth for me? Open your mouth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna kill myself. Uh oh. Y'all wrong what? as fuck. I was a ghost that got Don't nothing together. My brother died. I was gonna be a nurse. Like, come on, I'm a bad person. Throw me money. I grab money up. I don't know that good neighborhood. Like, this is wrong as fuck. I know this woman's going through a lot. She just lost somebody in her family. She's got a lot of mental stress going on. You know what I mean? She, 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 she's drunk. So I, so I want to say all that up front. This is not showing her in her best light, in her finest moment. But what did I say, y'all? What did I say? I don't care what the situation is, okay? You could have saved a baby out of a burning house. You could have walked on water. You hear me? You could have opened the blinded eyes, okay? You could have fed the hungry. Maybe you brought somebody back to life. I don't know what the fuck you did, but whatever it is, if your mouth is frothy, you're wrong. If your mouth is frothing, you are so far in the wrong, you know what I'm saying, that, that the fluids ain't right, and I mean, shit ain't breaking down the right way. Look at it, it's just a slobbering. Here, let me run this back some. Run this back some, I'm trying to tell you. Better watch yourself. I've had to catch myself in traffic, like, boy, about to snap, like, God damn, Abby, do you have a frothing mouth right now? Had to check myself, and just that five to ten seconds of being able to check myself, I calmed down. You know, I'm going to try it, try it. You motherfuckers maybe, you know, have a frothing mouth on the highway. Come on. I grab money up. I don't know good neighborhood. Look at it. Like, this is wrong as fuck. Ooh, nigga, ooh, how are you right if you slobbering like that? God can't bless that. How are you in the will of God if you slobbering like that? Ma'am, you already look like a rapper in the face, and you racist. And again, like, you know, like legit people who are really racist, who just hate other cultures, those are dumb people. Those are dumb people. See, this is what motherfuckers don't understand. It's that the real racist, like cold-blooded, stone-cold rip, not Steve Austin, <laughs> but hey, hey, the last yard, that motherfucker was dropping that M-bomb, wasn't he? Like, that motherfucker had a lot of practice, uh, shout out to Stone Cold, but what, what I'm saying to you is that the real fucking racist people that, um, that could affect you, that could have power over you, if you black and you listening to this, understand this, they would never call you the N-word. They would never tell you they don't like you because you black. They would never make you think that shit. Y'all don't even know who the racists really are. You don't. You don't because that's something that white people do way better than black people. I mean, look at history. The art of manipulation, nigga. 
You can't compete with white folk when it comes to manipulation. You can't. So the smart motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, ooh, black this, black that, black lives matter. Hey, I'm a white ally. Them motherfuckers don't like niggas. The difference about, and here's the thing, I'm not no Republican. I'm not no Republican, okay? I'm not no Democrat either. I don't have a political affiliation. This is a motherfucking truth channel, man. I don't have no political affiliation. But that's who your racists are. The racist motherfucker isn't the person who will talk candidly with you. Let's have a real conversation about race. And agree, disagree, smoke a motherfucking joint, drink a beer, and go on about our lives. The motherfuckers who are really racist and think you're inferior are the motherfuckers who say, you know what? I think black people really have a hard time getting IDs. So we need to change up the laws because, you know, you know, I think we just need to start letting motherfuckers with no IDs vote. That's the motherfucker that don't like you. That's the motherfucker that don't like you. That's somebody who thinks you lower than them. That's somebody that thinks you dumber than them. That's somebody who thinks you need them. That's your white savior. And niggas fall for it every time. But I don't want to talk too much about that. Let's keep going here. My friend by the house, by the corner, like the put off with a bull crap. Like, so, come on now. So, Andrea, you have one prior. I'm going to yeah, offer okay. you the breath test at this moment. <laughs> uh, I'm a good person. I'm not, I'm a good person. I'm talking about your stuff, man. If you refuse to take the breath test, your dry license will be suspended. Uh, for Maybe she is a good person. I don't know. Nor do I give a fuck. Nobody is all good or all bad. Nobody's all good or all bad. We're a mix of both things. So is she good? Is she bad? I don't know, man. Hopefully she's a good fucking person. I hope she is. Shit, I don't know. But what I see right now is a drunk motherfucker frothing at the mouth. Come on. Years. If you decide to take the test, the test at or over the legal limit, it'll be suspended for one year, okay? I'm a good person. Are you willing to take the breath test for me? Oh, boy. I'm going to take nothing. Okay. Well, the suspect was arrested and charged with DUI and indecent exposure. Nice. She was sentenced to 12 months of probation. Okay. But after violating the terms with another DUI, her nursing license was suspended, and she received 90 days in jail. Damn. Was justice served, or should the consequences have been more severe given the repeated offense? Share your opinions in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hey, I think, uh, I think justice was served, but... Her license was suspended for how long was her license suspended? Does she is she able to get it reinstated? Um, that's the shit that I would like to know. And also, is there a concern like it in the like wherever this is, like in the medical field, the medical community, the hospitals and all the clinics and all that shit? A motherfucker who clearly doesn't like a certain race of people working there. Damn. I mean, do y'all care about that shit? That's a question, guys. I want you guys to ask this in the comments, and I'm going to come in there and talk to y'all. You know what I mean? And, and we'll see what you guys think. Okay, I personally, if a, if, if a cop, a judge, uh, anybody that's working in the social services, a fucking teacher, um, anybody that I have to deal with, right? I've got to deal with doctors. i got to deal with cops. i got to deal with firemen. Any Anybody like that, that's a straight up, racist yeah that motherfucker can't work here now listen if you think that indians smell like curry all right that's like a dumb thing to think some of them do curry's delicious but i'm saying um if you think something stupid like that i don't think that makes you racist that makes you an idiot but if you like legit have these feelings to where you're going on these rants like goddamn we at lunch Tom over there talking about Mexicans again. Yeah, this motherfucker. Yeah, I don't want this motherfucker there. It's for dumb people. Okay, that's for dumb people. There's always nuance. There's nuance, guys. And here's the thing. A fucking human being, I've got a million different ways to hate you. A million. Your culture is not, I mean, come on. That's some shit I'll probably say to you in traffic if you cut me off. I don't really mean it, nor do I really give a fuck. 
I don't care where people are from. Who walks around really caring where people are from? I care how you treat me. I care that you keep your word. I care that you're a real fucking individual. I care that you're a good person. I don't give a fuck about none of that other shit. Never mind, never mind this other talk, man. Build your fucking tribe, people. And that's what I'm trying to do here with the Heavy Gant channel. But in your personal lives, dog, build your tribe. And the people in your tribe may not look like you. But they're honest. They fuck with you. If it's time to go outside and handle something, they're there. They're looking out for you. They pull your coattails. They hold you accountable. If you need something, they're there. I, you need as many people like that around you, regardless of what they fucking look like. If you're putting rules on people, rules on people, they need to look a certain way. Come on, man. You don't deserve to have good people around you if that's how you're moving, especially like with dating and marriage. I've only married black women. I've only dated black women. But if I'm out here dating, looking for a partner, who the fuck am I to be like, well, I'm not ever talking to a white bitch. Nigga, and I'm going to pass on a good woman? Because I want her to look at her. Get the fuck out of here. People are not indispensable and people are not disposable. Say, say, say that with me, y'all. People are not good people, are not indispensable, and they're not fucking disposable. Everybody can't be replaced. Let me know what you guys think. If I got it right, if I got it wrong. Remember, you can say whatever you want to say over here. The only rules are talk like you got some sense and be nice. All praise to the Almighty Algorithm. Like, share, subscribe. We're on our way to one milli, baby. Let's get it.